one. Hands very, very high. As well he Barry Michael for the uh, world that Juan Laporte carries. In Azuma Nelson defending him. Yeah, the bang, drums banging in the background. As Azuma Nelson bangs away to Juan Laporte. Well, he, can, he charged from his corner, ran so. Oh! Initial punch was a beauty. He seemed to throw him to the first almost a cumble in that right hand of Juan Laporte's hit the mark. Don't wait. Don't wait. Punches on the chin in this round. Top of Nelson's head. Solid chin. KO magazine in America said that Juan Laporte had the best chin in boxing at the moment in 20 years. So certainly both guys have the almost tiny leg. There's that big right hand, and Azuma Nelson was really rocked by that. Laporte tried to finish it with the left hook there and threw them in by Laporte like that that flung the chip. And when he's put under pressure, that's when he fights at his best. So Laporte is tentative coming. The jab of Azuma. He's his sparring partners, dancing rings around. Nelson's carrying the left hand very, very hard, sounding again in the background. He has to start forcing the issue as he did in the first round. Because if he hangs back and lets Nelson start to find the range of that left hand. Nelson. Laporte just trying to get that punch in that's going to away. See the, the, the difference in Laporte, believe me, is well aware of that tactic. He wants he wants Nelson to lead up. Nelson misses with a away from the troubles Nelson really just constant good as we progress good punch underneath speed from the champion skills of elusiveness they are so wary of, of, of this is and Nelson is so adept at, at making a man miss that a screaming left hook will come straight back we're seeing a bit of a Mexican standoff at the moment one guy waiting for the other around the ring this is his third lap Always been a brilliant box, but what we have guys previous to this face so many great ones. Sharp today. Work, let's work. Found the mark. Graph Mirror Group, the news limit leading boxing uh, yes, and uh, well, it's, it's actually but certainly okay, but, uh, the guy really gaining the upper hand. Laporte showed that left hook that he's uh, first so he can counter, but Laporte many, many great fights that we sit again on Sky Channel this month. We spoke earlier about the Mark Bounty Hunter, Jose Flores by, well, of course, on October 26. So they work in close, and Nelson, oh, good left underneath by Laporte. Nelson in round number four. He's, uh, he's trying to put him together. Nelson having to hang on. Nelson goes back to the right. This is the moment for Juan Laporte, he's got Nelson backed against the ropes. From Juan Laporte and a big one underneath. It was the big left underneath that I caught. Nelson looks okay now. If he could just lift his guts and in a great deal of trouble. Just a little more. Certainly Jeff Fennick will be encouraged by what he's seen in this fourth round. Have a look at Juan Laporte working hard underneath. Missed with that big right hand under, over the top. But a... Round five. Good left. Just a silent upon. But it's only because of the very fast fourth man having said that. Buffalo Martin in the corner. Tasted a couple of bombs from Laporta. I, I know what this guy is capable of, but we've seen in, in previous bouts. But that's only because of the, the great regard he has for the power of Juan Laporte. A real. Would like to do. He can't bang. He gets a little bit cocky, Azuma. He gets a right hand or a. And uh, a great tragedy to see uh, this great man hit the canvas simply because of his record. He's so far. <laughs> it only takes one shot from Juan Laporte. I get the impression, Grantley, that Laporte. What they've worked for. He's uh, almost been a little robotic in, in, in his method, but there's obviously a, a, a barrel staring over that lit up on the right hand.
Dean is, is yelling at Laporte. He's always telling Laporte hey, how to fight Nelson. He wants Nelson to throw more punches. <laughs> Trade a little low. I'm getting frustrated. Yelling out beautiful, baby. Obviously, Azuma floored his victory party, but this old before any victory, he'll be throwing a lot more punches. Uh, in a candy shop, and he's been hand in the cupboard. Well, he can only go to, to the goodies. Every time he sticks it away from Now he gets him in place. He lets go with lefts and rights. Big bombs, but Nelson comes back. Boxerism and Nelson by a point. Nelson showing his class. Juan Laporte has landed so far through the first. It's more in front than a point, but I agree with you. There's nothing in this. Not a struck match in it. And the, the, the fact that he's not prepared to ruin already that people in front. And this. On ways are breakable. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not going to and really let it all hang out against. Oh! Nelson. Laporte always looks dangerous with that right hand, but Nelson rode that one out and he's the one back throwing the punches. Laporte at this stage. Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can it be enough to cut the legs from Let's have a look at this. This could be the big right. It was. And as I thought, that first right did get through, but then Nelson. An, an artist in the ring. One the sort of hope that he gets off. I really do feel that he has so much more, and uh, I just get the feeling that he, he so far in the fight. I only mean, really is a, an enigmatic character. He really is a mediocre artist. Well, let me ask you this question, because he must have. Doesn't matter. Uh, Zuma Nelson is going to get away with it. And uh, I believe that uh, Spinnick, because he'll, Spinnick has a, at, at his very best, when he's backed up. Oh! Just when you think. <laughs> well, I think he was a little off balance there. He was certainly bouncing back. Laporte managed to get through a straight one on his chin, and that, uh, that put him more off balance throughout this fight, but he has largely because of that. Laporte in his corner, they're calling for him to go. go. They want to see him roar into Laporte. Cut the good punch. And the jab working again for the jabs. Let's see this. Left hand by Laporte. It definitely landed, but it seemed to get Azuma. Really got to start throwing some big right hands over the top. Azuma Nelson and Juan Laporte. Come on! Nelson. On my Nelson haven't been thrilled with his performance tonight. His, his trainer and manager, Butlo Martino, a very, very sore hand by this stage, telling Nelson to, to have a I think may have lost his footing. Well, he lost his footing. Nelson in trouble. Nelson in trouble on the ropes. Nelson's in big trouble. He's riding him out. Juan Laporte. This is the moment that Juan Laporte has been waiting for for six years. He unloads on Azuma Nelson, but he got rocked there. behind me but he looks to be on on his legs again that's what a master he is under pressure one sorts of bother but he did very very well to dry those ones out with a big uppercut there pick it up where he left it off still Australians Gus guys are so so professional by a right hand throws a bit more power in the punch trying for the world lightweight title oh certainly Nelson has this has not been one of his in the back move. He's sticking out that left hand. Been a couple of occasions in the fight where you think he's in trouble, but suddenly he bounced. Goodness me, these guys really are gentlemen boxers, aren't they? It's almost like an opponent slipped against Jeff Finnick, whether they'd get a little pat Right hand over, tolling the tempo of this round. They saw Azuma Nelson dazzling opponents in the gym. 
Well, Zuma Nelson has a flurry of bombs in the tw out in the 12th round. In couple of good punches for day, but while he's getting, and no doubt Nelson feels that that's all he has to do to win this fight. Keep the pressure rated. Azuma Nelson is on fight. Believe me, against Jeff Finnick, Azuma Nelson is going to great strength to beat the Maracle Mall. Now, Nelson, a smile came across his face in this fight, Azuma Nelson. But as I say, I get the impression that uh, he's decided not to not to go 100% flat out, just to win the fight as he can. So. Assert his superiority, and I think there it is. One Laporte. <laughs> but as we said throughout, he doesn't want to get careless of Zuma Nelson. He's got the hands down to get careless against this man. No doubt he three and a bit minutes left to retain his world title. Oh, Brown going in front. But uh, Azuma. But really, I don't think we've box a lot, lot better than the boxing sheer animal aggression that we've seen many times. In might be just flicking that left out, but the fact is that the the face part of the ringside judge would have to tally it up as a punt. Isn't it, Ray? Laporte has Laporte has never really been in any great danger, but he's popped the looking out like a, a snake. One minute and 15 seconds to get a miracle punch off if he's to win. And Laporte has won a lot of fans here. They're imploring him to have a go. They're imploring to chase Azuma Nelson. He's chasing, but he's a very hard man to catch Azuma Nelson. Around and box around, he's a very hard man to know. But Nelson fights back off the ropes. Azuma Nelson has, been, has looked to be in trouble at several stages in this fight. I still feel he'll get away with the decision, but Juan Laporte has been dangerous right throughout. 20 seconds. Great final round, Ray. It's been a great final round, Nelson, and the pressure. 